Greetings you friends on my channel Valentinasanima 227 March on the top wallet we see. The balance on this wallet equals 107 224 pzm the structural balance under this wallet is more than 20 million. The wallet stands in the hold for 441 days during this time, 92,100 pzm were mined the end of the green zone. March 29, 2023 for March 27. The wallet extracted 884, 4 pzm per day. And during the day the whole farm mined 8697 pzm. March 28 upper wallet on hold already 442 days until the end of the green zone. There is one day left during this day. The wallet mined 893.11 pzm. Almost 10 coins more than yesterday. And for the entire period already generated 93.015 pzm. And for the day all wallets generated equals 8.782 pzm. March 29 my first wallet entered the red zone, and its maximum production was only 212 pzm per day. Therefore, he moved in the list and descending order of paramining per day to 10th place. Here on this chart we see, that, from the first day to the year, wallets in the hold period extract coins at a slight increase. In this chart, we see jumps. The first jump. In my case, it's from 893 pzm to 212 pzm. On day 443 of hold. Then there will be growth again and the next jump. We see the same thing in the calculator. With a balance of 107,224 pzm with a structural balance of 20 million, this wallet mined only 13.79 pzm in the first day, in 15 days it will produce 221 pzm. And on the 365th day 43,782 pzm but after a year to the red zone, paramining accelerates to almost 18% per day. And with my balance. With such a structural balance up to 893 pzm coins per day. This is the most profitable period in hold for paramining. There are three solutions to what to do after the wallet enters the red zone. Option 1. Do not divide the wallet and continue to paramine, as the production from 212 pzm will definitely begin to grow again every day until the next jump. I'm going to experiment with this wallet. It's on the list right now. On the balance sheet 109076 pzm structural balance under it 12.5 million pzm production per day 858 pzm. The transition to the red zone will be on April 6th. And of course I will. Option 2. Divide the coins into two wallets. Leave up to 109,999 pzm on hold again. Exchange the rest of the coins for fiat. You can exchange for any of these exchanges at KMK. Or through P2P to your friends. In the near future, I will show you how to do it. But it is most profitable to use PRIZM coins as collateral for the PZM loyalty point system in your business. That is, make discounts on your product or service using PRISM coins, not empty unsecured points. Option 3. Divide the coins into two wallets. And put both wallets on hold for another round. For this, we go to the node in the wallet and see. 107,224 who participated in the accrual of paramining, plus 176 coins, which were mined before the first block was caught. Therefore, the wallet shows 107,400 coins on the balance. In the hold wallet 443 days structural balance 20 million, and on paramining 93,509 coins. I click a node to send prism. I enter here the address of the wallet to which to transfer. Here I insert to transfer only one coin here I insert the passphrase from the wallet from which I send coins. Click send prism. One coin went, and the generated coins from paramining were transferred to the total balance. On which there were 200,910 coins. The number of days on hold is zero. But the wallet continues to forge and generate blocks. For now. In order for 109,999 coins to remain on the wallet, you need to leave 110,009 coins on it. As the transfer fee will be charged 10 pzm, click on this wallet my accounting. Here is a full report on my transactions in this wallet. March 29 withdrawal 1 pzm. Fee, 0.5% equals 0.05 pzm. Transfer from paramining to balance equals 93,510 pzm withdrawal 90,901 pzm to my new wallet. Withdrawal fee equals 10 pzm on March 27th, a block was generated. 
Therefore, after dividing the wallet on March 29th, this wallet received on March 30th the status of hold equals zero. 68 days and took the 26th position in my farm for the maximum production of coins per day. Pay attention to the wallet below. PZM 109,999 on its balance sheet, too, but the structural balance underneath it is slightly more than 109,000 PZM, and the daily para mining of 14 PZM per day, he only became on the 23rd day of hold, and below it is the wallet to which I transferred 90,901 PZM. This wallet has not caught a single block yet. So it is not yet on hold. Now let's go to Can Market Cap. March 29. Course 0.002765. Let's look at the graph. 0.002765 multiplied by 90,900 PZM equal to $251. If I had put the coins on the stock exchange today and exchanged them for fiat, I would have earned $251.34. But I decided not to sell the coins, but to divide them into two wallets, and put both of them in the hold period for the next round. Another 450 days. My goal. To increase the capacity of your mining farm. At the expense of para mining. After 15 days, both of these wallets will already be mined at 221 coins per day. You could wait a couple more weeks. Wait until 110,000 PZM is mined on para mining and only then divide it into two wallets to put on hold on the second round. But I desed. Which option will you choose? It will depend on your goals and your decisions. Good luck to everyone. Learn about Prism's blockchain technology and its advantages over other cryptocurrencies. Subscribe to the channel. Put a like. Write comments. Valentin Asanima 2 is with you.